Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna create an underwater title and logo animation inside After Effects. You can download the project file in the description below so you can follow the tutorial with me. So let's go ahead and start. First I will create a new composition by clicking this composition, new composition and I will name it text. Nineteen twenty by 1080p, 30 frames per second and 15 seconds duration and the background is black. And then I will create a new composition and I will name it texture. 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second 15 seconds duration and the background is black and then i will open up the text and i will type deep c i'm using monzirat font you can use whatever font you want and the pixels is 150 i will align it by pressing here align tool align horizontally and align vertically I will open the texture composition and drag down to my timeline the texture images that I made and then scale it up a bit by pressing S on your keyboard and make it bigger a bit and go back to my text And check it out if the scale is okay I'll just make it longer a bit and then I will go to new composition and I will create another composition and I will name it animation one and I will click OK I'm gonna drop down the text composition here and also the texture so all you have to do is to toggle the switches here if you can see the track mat so you can see now the track mat in here just change this one to alpha mat highlight this text and then copy and duplicate it by pressing Control D and then enable the visibility highlight it first and go to effects and preset and find generate and fill and I want this all black then I will go again to effects and preset and go to perspective bevel alpha i want to change the edge thickness to 5 i want the light intensity to be 1 blending mode on the text that i duplicated add and then highlight the texture layer i'll go to effects and preset color correction and curves and then I will just darken it a bit again I will go to project and I will create 
a new folder I will name it scene 1 and I will put all the compositions in here for my scene 1 and again I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2 And then I will open the folder scene 1, highlight all the compositions, and duplicate it. And I will drag it down to my scene 2 folder. And then we'll open it up by double clicking my mouse. And I will go to text. And I will change this one to exploration in here. And I will again grab the text tool. And I will create another text. And I will type underwater. I'm using and then I will change the size of the font just 72 pixels I guess align it horizontally and then I will press position here and I will drag it down I will grab again the text tool and I will type by and I'm using the font name Ogilvie I will align it horizontally then press P on my keyboard to reveal the position I will drag them up And after that, I will go to textures to make this a bit bigger so that it will cover all the text that we have on the text too. Then go to animation too and click Alt and Hold on your keyboard and then highlight this text and change this text to text too. Also, this layer in here change it text to so now as you can see that there is a changes here now so what I will do next is again to create another folder and I will name it scene 3 duplicate it and then the duplicate layers drag it down to your scene 3 folder so I will delete this one here and then open it up by double clicking your mouse now go to text tree instead of text I will change the name in here just logo I will delete it all and go to my assets go to image folder and I will drag down this logo and resize it by pressing S on your keyboard and put it 25% and go to animation 3 and again press alt and hold on your keyboard and then drag the logo and change this text to and again the other one you have to change it to logo now you, as you can see in here there's a logo now 
and i will create another composition and i will name it main Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second, and the duration will be forty five seconds. And the background is black. Click OK. And what I will do next is to drag down the animations that I have here. Animation two two, and the animation three. and then highlight it all and right click my mouse and keyframe assistant and sequence layer next i will open the footage in my assets folder highlight it all and drag it down to my timeline and i will arrange it first i will put the swirly dust down and I will put the atmospheric at the topmost and then the cascading will be down to the swirly dust just behind the swirly dust and then I will highlight it all I will press T on my keyboard for opacity and then I will change the atmospheric to 50%. Purely is 100. The cascading is 50. And the clip is 50%. And then if you can't see the blending mode in here, just to toggle the switches in here. And I will change this really to overlay. I will change the atmospheric to add and I will change the clip to add and the cascading to add and then I will also click the swirly dust and then press S on my keyboard for the scale and I will put this 200% and I will go to layer new and I will create a new camera and I will just use 35 mm preset camera and I will click OK and I will go back to layer and create a null object so now I will toggle this modes and make this all here a 3d layer also the null object i will make it a 3d layer and then i will parent the camera to the null object and then i will press p for the position of the null object and i will create a keyframe on the start and go to the last i will change the z position to about i am also wrong with my arrangement in here i will just move this at the last and i will move this one the start I will also enable all the audio before playing it I will highlight this all particles that I'm gonna be using in here and right click my mouse and go to time and enable time remapping and move all the keyframes in here too okay. 
I think this one I need to adjust a bit. So when we play, now this is the animation that we created. So our tutorial is done, and uh, my thoughts for today is that when you have a talent and skills, don't be afraid to show it. And you have all the freedom to motivate yourself and take advantage of it. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time. God bless.